Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the chemistry of dyes set by Mel Chemistry, we will learn how coloring interacts with different fabrics. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray in order to contain any possible spills. Remember to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle with a regent, push the cap and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unfolded paper clip. For the experiment dyeing cloth, we will need two pieces of polyester, two pieces of wool, carmine, liquid soap, eosin, two clothespins, two plastic cups, and boiling water. Take the clothespins from the set. Clip together one piece of wool and one piece of polyester with the red clothespin. Do the same with the blue clothespin. In each pin, you should have two pieces of different fabric. Take two plastic cups from the starter kit and put the samples into the cups. Add 15 drops of eosin solution and 5 drops of liquid soap into the cup with the red pin. Then take the cup with the blue pin and add there 15 drops of carmine solution and 5 drops of liquid soap. Carefully pour boiling water into the cups to cover the pieces of fabric. Wait for 10 minutes. Now, thoroughly rinse the fabrics with water. As we see, only one piece of fabric remained colored. Unlike carmine, eosin binds to proteins that wool consists of. Polyester does not bind to any coloring at all. This is why eosin colors the wool, but carmine is washed off of both fabrics. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Chemistry website.